Good evening, Dan Fitzpatrick here at StockMarketMentor.com on Thursday, July 18th. And I want to look at NuSkin um, here. Uh, company, you can see uh, the stock just absolutely blew up. Um, I mean, in a good way um, after earnings. And I want to just look at a simple flag pattern here um, to show how we get a uh, measured move. Okay, first of all, uh, we look here and the stock was in a squeeze. We love these squeezes because when um, the price actually breaks out, it tends to go farther and faster than you'd normally think. And uh, that's exactly what happens. So we get uh, this move here. You could look at that as a flag pull. And then a little pennant. Lower highs, higher lows on declining volume. This is a consolidation that you like to see. And then what we do is we'll wait for, let me get rid of some of this stuff. Then we want to wait for the breakout after the stock moves up and then halts, which it did here on the second day it pulled back. This is new resistance. It's the top of the flagpole. Okay, so the pennant or flag is flying there. It's the top of the flagpole. That's the end of the move, right? Until the stock breaks out above the top of the flagpole, or I should say until and unless, because it doesn't always happen, just because you see a pennant or a flag here doesn't entitle you to make money. Um, it just means that you've seen a pennant or a flag. This is actually actionable when the stock breaks out and moves up to a new high. When it does that, then the, um, the theory for a technical analyst is that the, fly, the flag flies at half mast. Say that fast five times. The flag flies at half mast. So where's half mast? Why we're using this is to give us um, some kind of a, a price target. So this is what we do. We look at 65 bucks is about where the stock broke out, and I'm using just down and dirty stuff here. 65 bucks is where the stock broke out. About 80 bucks is where the stock um, peaked out here on the initial move, on the initial flag pull. Okay, so that's 15 bucks, 65 to 80. So we take that same $15 once the stock breaks out. We take the same $15 and project it upwards. That gives us a minimum price target of $95 on this stock. So if you're now, don't um, you're not entitled to see new skin move here in the same amount of time that it did from 65 up to 80. But as a technic, as a technical analyst or a technician, um, if you're looking at this, this is your minimum price target. This is your assessment of how much potential reward am I going to get and at how much risk. Well, you would put your stop just a little bit below um, this latest low. Of, we'll call it 76 bucks, something like that. Um, so you're risking basically six dollars um, to make quite a bit more than that. And also one last thing on these flags. Really, if this is a breakout, if it's a valid breakout, the price really should not be moving back even to the middle here. It should, it should really stay above this line or close to it. If it pulls back a little bit, that's fine, but then it really needs to go up right away. So I think this is a bullish move here. It seems extended. It is extended, but as long as you keep a protective stop here, um, you can still trade the stock to the upside.